Jeremiah 51, 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops, salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen that look like the heathen and to the aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And this is uh, the video by uh, Full Spectrum Survival. This guy, you know, puts out really good informational videos about current events and has been for years now. Um, <clears throat> but this particular video is called It Has Begun. Nuclear weapons being moved. China funding the Russians. Food prices jump 30 percent. And we keep warning you that all chaos and all hell is going to break loose in America and around the world. And especially as the as the world uh another thing to add to it is as the world begins to realize that they have been duped all the people the billion of people that have taken the uh sauce around the world uh when they start getting sick and started dying they uh, you know the sauce was a death sentence to them um, and that's that truth is going to to surface and prove itself to be so in in you know in the upcoming days eventually and that that alone you know, on top of everything else, it's just going to add fuel to the fire. Without any further ado, uh, full spectrum survival. It is happening right now. One of the events that we have been watching closely for nuclear weapons trackers have marked an unmarked military convoy carrying up to six nuclear warheads as it shows nuclear munitions being moved in Scotland. In, in uh, what some of the military channel intelligence positions say is a nuclear weapons movement in preparation for a possible nuclear exchange with Russia and or the East. The following information has already been reported on Scotland's mainstream and it contains no active or classified intelligence. According to the report, the movement was tracked by nuclear campaigners as it made its way off the M74 and onto the M8 just a mile or so south of Glasgow uh, on its way to Royal Naver Armaments Depot or another, uh, another munitions platform. An unmarked military convoy uh, carrying up to six nuclear warheads is said to have passed through Glasgow last night and height as heightened tensions with Russia and Ukraine lead uh, Western allied nations to prepare for a larger event. Nuke Watch UK tracks and monitors the convoys that transport the UK's Trident nuclear warheads by road from atomic weapons establishment fields uh, in the in the area. Now, nuclear event track nuclear weapons trackers are seeing an increase in movement, not just in Scotland, but across the world. I won't deliver any of the other information that we're presented with because it does contain some actionable intelligence that I just don't feel good putting out there. A hardening of allied agreements has cemented in the reality that our next world war will be an East versus West war with China and Russia against the United States of America and a nation that is quickly losing allied connections. Russia's foreign minister has warned the United States and its powerful banking alliance that the nation of Russia has lost any and all illusions that it will ever rely on America or on the United States dollar again, warning that there will never be a time that Russia accepts a world order dominated by the United States of America. You have to see how dangerous these words are and how dangerous this trend in sentiment is. The United States is, for all intents and purposes, holding the only scuba tank while Russia is holding its breath underwater. And the United States is basically holding it hostage in its connection to the USD and the world. 
Russia is not standing for this, and China is quickly setting up different channels of economic movement so that the United States can no longer hold the only air over other nations. We're starting to see a change right now happening economically, happen economically, further detailing the shift in Chinese governmental behavior. We are concerned, this is according to an EU. I'm really loving these sheets I got for my audition to be the next muse for the one, the only report. Uh, according to the report, leaders of the European Union are saying that they are in possession of, quote, very reliable evidence that China is motioning toward direct military assistance of Russia, which will initiate a wide range, they say, of financial and military action that is meant to deter China from interfering with the Russian Western conflict. According to the report, this is a quote. EU leaders have very reliable evidence that China is considering providing military aid to Russia. All of the leaders are, they say, very aware of what's going on, the senior EU official said on a condition of anonymity because he is not authorized to speak uh, about this confidential information. This is a continuation of the quote. We are concerned about the fact that China is flirting with the Russians. The EU will impose trade barriers against China should they... China goes on later to say pretty much the same thing that America says, that they will not stand or allow America to, to rule in the, the new world system which is being set up. And China is ahead of them and Russia is joined onto them. America is behind. So America is going to be forced to, to do some things. But this is our Second Peter 3 and 10 and it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth and its works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing that all these things must be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking forward for the hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. So the only way that righteousness is going to dwell in the earth is, is with Babylon and this current world order um, being destroyed. Because uh, China and Russia becoming the new leaders of the world is not going to help the true children of Israel at all in any way whatsoever. All right. Because the world was made for our sake. So you're still going to have if that were to happen, that's not pro prophecy. That's not going to happen. But if that was to happen, we still have heathens uh, ruling over us. All right. And that's that's not a good thing because none of these heathens have uh, the interest of Israel uh, in heart. As a matter of fact, they want you to they don't they want you to stay in the position where you are because the you got to remember the, the heads of these nations, the elites of these nations, they have always known that the Negro so-called, the Latino so-called, and the Native and Seminole Indians so-called are the true children of Israel. They've always known that. And they've always known that, that some of their people are scattered uh, uh, among them, among their heathen tribes. They've always known that. Um, you know, I've, I've constantly said that's what the whole DNA testing was about whole D 23 and me and all those sorts of companies and things of that nature that science was was to find out who among the uh, the heathen are actually Israelites you know especially ones that look like white people that's the very that's the worst kind of nigga one that could pass for being white because he can infiltrate you know that's that's scary to them but uh let us continue on we're gonna go to the about the six minute mark. Let them continue. Ride it out. And there has been some assurances by Russia that they will do some sort of back end. Their ability to pay their debt in United States dollars through making some back end deals. Even though we've seen some creditor uh, dysfunction there where some creditors are saying they told us we were about to get paid and we haven't received our payment yet. Even though that happened, 
it shows that there is some normalcy there. Now, if Russia's stock market can open, and with its opening, it can continue to operate even at a lesser value than it once did, that is literally the end of the United States dollar. It's the end of America. That's it. Let me pause it right there. And that is exactly what's going to happen. Because you got to understand with all these um, sanctions that uh, Babylon has put on the other nations, it's, 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 it's backfired on them. Because now the nations don't want to deal with them anymore or they're, or they're uh, devaluing by the moment, by the second uh, currency. And quite frankly, China and Russia are offering better deals and more secure deals financially for, for America's allies. And American allies are going to jump ship and turn on them just as the prophecy said. This is James uh, 5, 1 through 6. And it says, Go now, ye rich men, weep and howl, for your misery shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted. Your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered. The rest of them shall be a witness against thee and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire and the laborers who, who have reaped down your fields, which you kept back by fraud, crieth, and cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. So you've kept that back by fraud. Uh, the money's owed to, to the Israelites. All right. And you fraudulently uh, tax them uh, with with, you know, different devices that you, your crafty devices that you created, you know, your treacherous devices. And 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 quite frankly, the Israelites <laughs> and the heathen are, are both tired of 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 this system, tired of Esau Edom. All right. The, um, you know, the people of color of the world are looking at these these pale that these Edomites is the problem. All right, because all this history is coming out. And that's why you, you hear so many Edomites complain about all this wokeness. Because all the things that they buried under the, the you know, under the uh, uh, under the rug and all things that were hid in the closet. And as they were able to push an image of themselves being pure and the, the inventors and the, the, the you know, the, the leaders and, and, and the provocative thing, uh, uh, movement leaders and that whole sort of thing. It's all starting to see that. That you pretty you pretty much lied about everything. You've stolen heritages. You've claimed to be people that you're not. You know you've uh, you've oppressed people. You've taken their 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 heritage. You've taken their wealth. You've taken their their substance. You control that control their lands. You know their resources. And you lie about everything. You put your name on things that that were that's not yours. You ch you change names of countries and places. You remove landmarks. You know, and the list just goes on and on and on. And all the history is coming out about what you've really done. All right. Verse five. You have lived in pleasure on earth and been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in the days of slaughter. All right. So and quite frankly, time is matter of fact, let me read one more. You have condemned and killed the just and he doth not resist you. So you and, and the just and, and, and you've killed who hasn't resisted you, and you've killed the heathen who have not resisted you. Simply because in lots of cases, when you look at all the wars in the countries that were that were bombed, where you sent your your uh, your, your hitmen, your uh, financial hitmen, um, in all the countries you've overthrown and set up puppet dealers because you want to control over their resources, or you wanted to put bases there so uh, strategically so that you could surround Russia and China. Um, and, 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 and be, you know, and rule over the whole world. That's literally what you were doing and you're found out you're exposed. All right. This is Isaiah, uh, 14 and, uh, let me read like 10 through 12. And it says, and <clears throat> all they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become as weak as we, uh, thou become like unto us, all right? And the nations are looking at you because now, now they have the ability to fight you or join unto people who are, who are just as strong and or stronger than you, all right? The Russian military isn't as big or spread out as the American military, but their military might is actually mightier, 
that the missile technician uh, technology is actually mightier. And then they have the powerful ally, and together they're they're more powerful than than America and NATO. Real talk. And and I say that because NATO is, is fractured, is fringed, and 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 a lot of NATO countries need the support of 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 the uh, resources that come out of Russia. And we're at peace with Russia. We're not having problems with Russia at all. So you're going to have a problem here in Babylon. All right? Um, but let's let him speak a little bit more. America played its card. It cut it off. It sanctioned it. It took away its ability to trade. It uh, did all of these different things. No one was buying Russian gold. And so if all of those things happened and it didn't matter, then America is in trouble. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I don't want to pick any sides here, but let's just say that every country is a bully. I think that we can all agree on that. But every country to stay in power has to gain economically and uh, through control. And the United States is no different than that. So let's The just United States is the head of that and always has been since its inception. Every, every country that was led by these Edomites. So no, don't try to say everyone, all right? The, uh, the different nations in Africa uh, never went around trying to conquer the other nations. The different uh, nations in in Asia, you know, they they dealt they they had their infighting within their own, but they didn't try to venture out past that. And that's pretty. And that same thing was going on here in in, in with the with the with the Northern Kingdom, with, who you ignorantly call uh, 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 Native Americans. All right, in the Americas, there was infighting. All right, but they weren't trying to go across the water into other people's lands. But these Edomites. This is what they've done, but it, they were prophesied to do so. They were given a great sword, and, that, and the great sword wasn't given to Japheth. All right, it was given to Esau, Edom, and they lived by the sword. And now that same sword is going to be turned on them. This is uh, Ezekiel uh, five and sixteen, and it reads. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, which I will send to destroy you, I will increase the famine upon you, and I will break your staff of bread. So that's the next issue, because a part of this video, the end part of it says food prices have jumped 30%. So before all these arrows fly back and forth and a Babylon gets melted, it's going to be a living hell because hell is a condition, not a place. All right. It's going to be hellish conditions uh, in America. And it's already getting there and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And in the days to come, this is not something that's years off. This is here. All right. We already have empty shelves uh, all across America in, in different stores. All right. And it's just going to get worse. Just say you have a random bully on the on the yard. Uh, that bully is a, you know, he's a glass cannon. That means that, you know, he, he looks big, looks like someone's going to get hurt. As soon as he takes a hit, he's out. You know, uh, they used to call it a glass draw, you know. Um, That's America. So let's say he's a glass cannon. Pulled out all the stuff, said, look at what I'm going to do. You see, America's been hitting everybody, but they're not going to survive the hit that comes to them at all. Did you Look at how you're going to hurt. And then if Russia stands up and doesn't get hurt by this, no one else will believe the glass cannon next. And so the <laughs> confidence in America, the confidence in NATO, the confidence in the European Union, the confidence in Sweden, the confidence in every country that has jumped on board will go down. And that's exactly what's happening. It's already happening. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 13. And it reads... For strong is, is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they shall begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So what arrows can be shot from one end of the world to the other? ICBM missiles. You know, there's a, a, a little chant, <laughs> a little song that, that the brothers sing here in Chicago, you know, about ICBM missile fire. And that missile fire is coming. Call Halal Yahweh Shai Ba Shimbra Kakradash Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasurala Shalawam.